In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make sure that the scale doesn't shake or move when we zoom in or zoom out here. As you can see here, this will work very nicely and nice and smooth instead of the standard jiggle or shaky effect due to the decimal points. So let's start with how to keep the scale steady. So what we're going to do here, first of all, make sure we have the border template, which you can find here on chart.js. 3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. And this link you can find as well in the description box. Next, if you want to join my Patreon page, check out this and you get the source code of every one of my videos. And of course, we have a Discord channel, join. So let's start to work on our item here. So what we want to do here is, first of all, add up the Zoom plugin. So to add up the Zoom plugin, we go to uh, basically this link here is and then we're going to say you're getting started and you can see here we're just going to follow here the instructions however what we need first is of course the hammer js this allows us to get all the activity in here or at least all the movements that's being triggered so i'm going to put that in there and then what we need is the zoom plugin of course in this case here this is the source has a path so we have to get it we can get a cdn here on cdnjs.com just copy one of these the latest one 2.0.1 and then what i want to do here is make sure i load this after everything else just to make sure we save this and if i refresh here of course nothing happens yet and the reason why nothing happened is we need to first activate the plugin so what i'm going to do here in the uh after the skills comma i'm going to say plugins and i'm going to activate it specifically for this chart so i'm going to say here zoom plugin and then we're going to say here i want to have the zoom functionality and within the zoom functionality i want to use the mouse wheel or any other that is available in the documentation here uh zoom pen etc etc so in this case, I want to the zoom, but I want specifically triggering the wheel functionality. So I can say here enabled, true, save. And then if I go here, now if I zoom, you can see here it works. However, it has this uh, effect here, or like it's moving or shaking or jiggle effect. And what you want to do now is to remove that or reduce that effect. So how do we do this? Well. We're going to do two things. First of all, I want to change the speed of the wheel. In this case, because I'm using the magic mouse of the Mac, it tends to be very, very sensitive. So this makes it a bit more smaller and slower. But you can see here we get this jiggle, and the jiggle here is due to all these additional decimals. As you, and you can see here, that one will be very clear. So what I'm going to do is, how do we remove that? I'm going to do this specifically for the Y scale, but you can do this also for the X scale. So what I'm going to say here, I want to go into the ticks and I just want to control the ticks. I'm going to say a callback and then for every value that I get. And then what I want to do here, give you a console log of what are we seeing in this value. If I save this, refresh, you'll see here nothing right now, but these are the values by default, which are the tick values here or the tick label. So. These are in here, but if we zoom in, it gives all these weird numbers. And what we want to do is we want to show just a minimum amount of items. So let's say only one decimal. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say return. And then we're going to say here, we're going to get the value. And then we say yeah, that two fixed. And just give it only one decimal. Save this, refresh. Now, if I start to do it, you can see here now it doesn't jiggle anymore. And the same of this logic would be if you are doing it for the X scale, same item. But of course, this should be a linear scale and not a category axis what it is right now.